All right, welcome back, folks. We're talking about the movie 1917. My thoughts, reasons why you absolutely should see the movie. It was truly remarkable. A couple major reasons is the videography. There's just nothing quite like it. And secondarily, it's just an amazing story. It's not just the epic story. It's the way that it's visually displayed to you. So first off, Sam Mendes was the writer, director, and producer. He really crushed it. The movie opens up with two boys just napping in a field. It's kind of a lazy, sleepy way to start a movie. But as you see the video sequencing, it's a, a single shot sequence so th th that means there's no cuts happening and so you really feel like you're part of the action in about a minute or two into the movie i've noticed there's been no cuts it's just one continuous stream and after about five minutes i'm losing my mind and talking to my buddy who's there with me i'm like they still haven't done any cuts. So we're in the field and then we get up and we're moving through an incredibly dangerous mission. And so where we started off just so slumbering and peaceful, all of the sudden it's game on. And this movie constantly going in and out of action, you're like, how how do you possibly pull that off? And it wasn't like they were cheating a bunch where they zoom in close and then out. There was, so, I think there's a, a I think I pinpointed a few places where that happened, but in all this stuff was set up. It was truly amazing. About five minutes in, as they have climbed into no man's land, and you're just like, I've noticed every muscle in my body has been flexed for minutes at a time now. They're going around this body of water, and you're like, oh, surely there's going to be a cut here. And it doesn't. There's no cuts. The camera glides over the water, and I'm noticing, I'm watching the water for this, and there's no ripples. You can tell I'm really caught up with this, but it wasn't just an amazing video videography feat. It was also that it really just allowed you to participate in the action. I mean, I was there. It was really, really just amazing. Videography aside, though, though the videography absolutely helps you invest in the story, the whole thing was a roller coaster. And what I mean by that is there was uh, high ups with like a bunch of G's you're pulling in the downs. And uh, like I have a big problem with some movies that never let you come down. They don't let you process the action you just seen until finally you just get uh, exhausted of the action. I felt this in um, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. And so about, you know, an hour and a half into the movie, every scene had just become so fantastic that my capacity for fantastic was gone and so he jumps out of the window and the helicopter does one of these and he falls in and then it writes it so he doesn't get chopped up into captain america rotary chunks and so anyway at that point i'm kind of like yeah i got no problem with that either i hated that i want to be able to to um have other elements develop and so this movie did very very well where all of a sudden you're just lazily napping in a field to trench warfare you see immense beauty and you had time to smell the roses and just kind of have one of those beautiful moments and then it's interrupted by a hurried gunfight you're enjoying a savory cup of milk and then you're almost run over by a crashing plane and so it just you're holding a baby and then you're choking a man to death it just all of the sudden you go from a neat respite and then just in the action as well and so it's like just an amazing roller coaster of emotions and i really felt like i was there it was a fantastic performance an additional thing I'd speak to is it really captured a lot of the conflict of war. There was uh, the confusion element where you're trying to figure out like, where's that coming from? And is that our guy or is, uh, how are we going to uh, get around this? And then the whole land navigation thing, you're trying to figure out where to go and which way is up. And so that hurried kind of confused mess, they're uh, wandering around in mazes and trenches and they're worried and concerned. And you just kind of feel it with them and that confusion, which is probably the word that I would typify a battlefield with the most. If you want to know what war is like, number one, it's confusing. It's just hard to figure out what in the world's going on. Uh, a second thing is it, you you're kind of moving in and out of the feeling of this is the highest purpose, most important thing I've ever done. Uh, and then all of a sudden juxtaposed with this is all pointless. It's a vanity, it, or not vanity, it's a just, uh, yeah, it's vain. It's chasing after the wind. W what difference are we making? And so you're just pushed back and forth between those thoughts of this is important and this is a waste. And so that was there too. It, it was both the, the doldrums of kind of hanging out in the downtimes with the chaotic and 
terrifying nature that war embodies. And so I really thought they captured those elements as well. So I thought just the movie was very full, lacking in nothing, brilliantly shot in a way that I just don't even understand. And it's just good to see good historical movies as well so that we can appreciate the sacrifice of the people that went uh, before us. And it's especially important to just reach back across the ages and see the important groundwork that these men laid in securing worldwide freedom. It was a worthy endeavor, uh, definitely worth our remembrance and it can spur us on to be better warrior poets in the future, right? as we're learning from the sacrifice of others so that we are ready to stand in the gap and sacrifice should the world call us uh, to the center stage in our lifetimes. Anyway, guys, go see the movie. Train hard, train smart. Oh, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. We'll appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.